Hello and welcome to my very first YouTube video. I am a saint and a simmer and this channel will be mostly dedicated to Geopolitical Simulator 4 Power and Revolution. Uh, I'm a veteran player. Uh, I hope I can show you some good strategies and good tips how to play this game well. So I think I'm going to start with my very first playthrough will be on the free mode Democratic Opponents 2016 because in this series I can show you how to both lead an opposition party and also hopefully we will win government and then I can show you how to lead government. I know there's also already lots of videos out there but I think I have some good tips especially about the economy in this game. And let's get going. I'm going to start with Canada because I am Canadian. It's the country I know the most about in real life and in this game. And I'm going to play with the Canadian Citizens Movement, which is the in-game version of the New Democratic Party. That's the real party. So it's the Socialists. In real life, they're kind of social democratic, but I'm going to play more left wing, like a democratic socialist, like maybe Jeremy Corbyn or Bernie Sanders, something like that. Uh, socialist, 20% at the last elections, which was a big failure. They were leading at the beginning of the campaign in 2015, but they blew it. Number of seats, 44 out of 338. So we are, in fact, the third party. The Liberal Party and the Conservative Party is the main opposition. We are the third party. The Liberals have a majority government, 54% of all seats. We have 3 million sympathizers and 4.29 million bucks. I think that's US dollars. And I'm going to use Gilbert Junot because... I'm male and I'm going to play a male character and I choose the younger of the two because one of the main goals in this game is to stay in power as long as possible but characters do die of old age I believe non-playable characters certainly do I believe playable characters do as well although I've never done it so I'm going to play the younger man so I can stay in power for as long as possible Gilbert as you know I'm going to change the difficulty level to minimum. That way I can show you more stuff. And also that way I get a sense of whether my party whip will support the various legislation I want to use once I get into power. I'm also going to turn to Zach all these ones way down because they are off the charts in the game. It's absolutely silly. If I leave the disaster at the medium setting, Canada will have two massive wildfires every year. And I mean like historically huge wildfires. Out of control. So it's silly. I'm going to turn it down to just under half. So we can have them sometimes, but not twice a year. Maybe not even every year. Warmongering in this game is crazy. If you leave it at the standard level, Japan and Russia will go to war, Belarus and Poland will go to war, Cuba will go to war with Bahamas, Mexico will go to war with Cuba, all within the first two or three years of the game. Uh, I've even seen World War III break out where, you know, USA intervenes on uh, behalf of Japan, etc. So I'm going to turn this down to almost right down, but that is actually, in this case, the AI can't initiate any conflict. So I don't want it to be quite there. I want it to be just beside. Okay, that's good enough. Terrorism as well. In this game, if you leave it as standard, Canada suffers all kinds of terrorist attacks, which, you know, is not realistic at all. In real life, Canada has very few terrorist incidents. So I'm going to put it to almost minimum. Not right off. Turmoil as well. In this game, there are way too many riots. And I think that's because uh, they wanted to showcase... Eversim wanted to showcase... The new feature, which is that you can lead uprisings or even armed combat in the cities. But I think they, you know, set it up so there's too many riots. And the riots can be annoying when you're in power because you have to micromanage 
the police in the city. So I'm going to turn it not quite off, but all the way down. Fastest speed, fixed characters. We need Canadian dollars. Now, I don't have the greatest computer in the world, so uh, sometimes things will be slow. I'm going to make cuts during my videos. Uh, so if you notice cuts or jumps in the, in the mu background music, etc., I am going to cut. And in fact, I'm going to start the game now. Power is an ongoing conspiracy, according to Honoré de Balzac. Okay, I'm going to cut now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and it's ready to start on January 1st, 2016. Here is our private, my private secretary in the game. Okay, I will use some of those, and I won't use some of those. I'm going to try to be quite democratic and peaceful, but I do want to lead our party as, you know, a, move, a street movement as well, an activist party. I want to make our party into a movement, an activist movement. So we will engage in a lot of protests and maybe even an uprising if it gets to that point. But... I'm not going to fund armed groups. I'm not going to use, you know, any kind of armed fighting to try to empower. We're going to go the democratic route. Pause the game. And he's got more to say. Okay, so what he's getting at there is you can get in contact with the Prime Minister's best friend and actually ask him to assassinate the Prime Minister to cause a new election. Or if you manage to get in contact with the head of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the military, you can actually ask them to initiate a military coup d'etat and then put you into power. I don't think you even have to have an election. I'm not going to use those methods. All right, so let me show you around the game. This is day one of the free mode opponents. Here's Canada's Prime Minister, Jordan Brodeau. Of course, in real life, Justin Trudeau. You can see by the likeness, quite similar. We have uh, election coming in 1,759 days. But we'll see if we can't speed that up a little bit. You can actually defeat the government and bring them down and force early elections. So we'll see if we can do that. Here's me. I'm the General Secretary of the Canadian Citizens Movement, real life name, New Democratic Party, NDP. Here's some information about the country we're playing as, Canada. So the leader is called the Prime Minister. He is democratically elected by the Parliament. And the Prime Minister chooses Cabinet, but he is also responsible to Parliament. He is a member of Parliament, so he can be taken out of power by a non-confidence vote. That's unlikely though because we have a majority government right now in this scenario. Government is federation because there are 10 provinces and 3 territories. They were, the you know, the provinces were originally independent, well not independent, they were colonies of the United Kingdom. And then they federated 
to form a to form Canada. It's a parliamentary regime, political tendency center right. Once upon a time in this series, maybe GPS2, the Liberal Party was listed as center left, but I actually contacted Eversim and asked them to change it because at that time the leader was Michael Ignatiev, who was quite right leaning for the Liberals. He would probably be better placed in the Conservative Party, but I guess. You know, according to his own political calculus, the liberals would help him get into power or something, but he lost miserably. He was a terrible failure politically. Anyways, Everson did change that the liberal party to center-right, and they still listed that way. It's probably fair enough. The liberals, they, they campaign on the left, but they don't govern on the left. They govern on the right of center. Not far right, but... Just right of center. I'd say that's accurate. Center or center right. Jordan Brodeau. Constitution date. The Canada Act was passed. That's the updated constitution. was made in 1982 by his father, Pierre Elliott Trudeau, was then prime minister. And Canada is 1st of July, 1867. Uh, Canada confederated. Next elections, 2020, but we'll try to speed that up. Here's the makeup of Parliament. Liberals have a majority, 54% of the seats. The second party is the Conservatives. They have 29% of the seats. And we are the third party with 13% of the seats. And Parliament is powerful. They can vote laws and also no confidence against the head of government. Uh, Parliament lasts for five years between each election. There is a Senate in Canada. Actually, the length of mandate is for life in real life, but the Senate doesn't come into play in this game. In Canada. In some countries, it does, I think. Here's our party. We have almost 6 million American... Sorry, 6 million Canadian dollars. And here are some of the things you can do. We're not going to do any of them right now, but I will later. Here are some of the actions you can take in regard to the head of government party and other organizations as well. We'll see some of those later. We are not in an election campaign period right now. And the final tab here is all the groups of people you can meet with. And that is in fact the first action I'm going to take is I'm going to meet with a few people. So let me just cut and I'll be right back. Okay, thank you. Here, I want to meet with someone to get my popularity up. So, the most famous people are generally the artists and athletes. So, let's see who likes me and has a high uh, popularity rating. He has a high popularity rating, but he doesn't really like me. He's fairly neutral, a little bit negative. Yellow is a little bit below average. So, he's a, okay, this guy likes me a little bit. 54%. Now let's show the artists. He likes me 55%. He's the best bet so far. 56, classical dancer. Seventy-five committed filmmaker. Okay. Oldest person, eighty-eight percent. Okay. So she's our best bet. The oldest person in the country. She's one hundred and twelve. We're gonna meet with her tomorrow morning. You can get uh, celebrities to compliment you in the media, in the newspaper, and that will improve your popularity. But you can't do it too often, or the effects wear out and people get sick of it. So I'm going to do one right away, and then I'll do another one later maybe, like at election time or a few months from now. And it's also a good idea in this game to meet with your family and friends fairly often, especially your wife. 
If you don't meet her often, she doesn't like you as much. She can cause scandals for you in the media. She can even have an affair. So I'm going to meet her on day one. Uh, it's also good to meet your doctor. But I'll meet mom and dad on the same day. So I'll meet them on the first... On the third, sorry. Mom and then dad. Mary and George, do you know? Do you know? And then I'll meet with my doctor, do you know? Okay, it's good to meet him. I think maybe that helps incre increase your health. Each character has a health rating in this game. And you want to stay in power for as long as possible, which means staying alive for as long as possible. And that's all I'm going to do on day one. I'm going to set those meetings up for the next day. Before we take any big actions, we're really waiting for the head of government to propose legislation or increase or decrease funding of different government spending sectors and then we will react and that's how you kind of play opposition first i like to save the game on the first day i'll save it as opponents one and while it's saving i'll cut okay so let's continue now to day two. We're going to have our first meeting on the January 2nd at 9 a.m. with the oldest person in Canada. Let's see if we can get her to say nice things about me in the media, in the newspaper. So, hi, hello, Mr. Secretary General. What do you want to discuss during our interview? Okay, so in almost any meeting in this game, you're trying to butter up the other person. So first, I offer a coffee. Sure. Dark and strong, please. 111 or 112 years old, and she still likes her coffee dark and strong. Right on, Isabel. And then I like to compliment them. You'll bury us all, Madame de Brun. Sure, they're good. Then offer a glass of champagne. I'd be happy to. That's what we call entertaining. <laughs> right on. Party on, Isabel. And then if the character's the opposite gender, you have the option of telling them they're charming. I'd recommend only doing it if they're at least this happy with you. If they're yellow or below, I wouldn't do it. It's a kind. It's flirting, is what it is. Yes, I know. I get that all the time. In this game, you can take on a. Uh, you can have an affair. Or you can even get married. You can get divorced and you can get married, etc. So that uh, is a way of flirting. And then sometimes they will accept your advances. Anyways, I'm, I have a wife in the game, so I'm going to stay faithful. But still, sometimes it butters them up and makes them like you more. Let's see. Uh, she's still the same. She hasn't improved. So I better make her an electoral promise. Something I will include in my program come election time. She's 112 years old. So I think the best promise that she would be most interested in is improving the geriatric wards. In our Medicare, in our medical system, it's a little bit pricey, a billion dollars, but you know, it's not an outrageous sum of money in this game. Oh, that's not to be turned down. Thank you. And she likes it. That's a good promise. Okay. So now, does she like me? Yes, she does. She likes me more. That's the second highest rating now. There's one with an even bigger smile. But I she should go for it now. Invite her to speak highly of me in public. Okay. If it makes you happy. Thank you. All right. So she's going to say something nice about us in the newspaper and our popularity will go up. Now, we've got the wife coming in next. So let's meet with her. Options are a bit different with the wife. 
You're the most beautiful woman in the world, darling. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thanks. Sure. And offer to make love. Sorry, darling, but I still have lots of cloth and stuff to buy or, or do today. Sure. Sounds real legit. Well, she's fairly happy with me anyway, so if I meet her more often, she will like me more, and I should keep her out of trouble. Let's go to the next day. I got the parents coming in. Oh, what's happening? First of all, he's doing something. The government is doing something. Manpower police. So he's either hiring or f laying off police officers. He's hiring 13,000 police officers. Okay, this isn't a bill. He just did this, you know, laterally. So we don't have a lot of actions we can take. We can criticize him in the media, but this is not something that we'll get any traction on. So just close it. Keep going. Meet with mommy. Hi, mommy. Offer her flowers. You're worth it. And you're the most beautiful mother in the whole world. Let's see. But you don't have anything else to do. <gasps> well, why is she being so grouchy? Usually the mom is nice and the dad is grouchy, but she loves me. I think we've said enough for today. So I'm going to leave you. See you soon. You might notice in that, when you get to that, that's when you've already exhausted all the possibilities in the meeting. And for some reason, there's only one generic male voice and one generic female voice. I guess they forgot to record that one line with all the different voice actors. And hey, let's meet with Pops. Olivier Juno. Hi, Dad. Lend him my official car. Thanks. Honest. I swear. I want them I did this <laughs> Old guy doesn't know how to drive. He forgot. All right, compliment him. Is that right to say what you're telling me? He's a grouch, I told you. Mom's usually nice, but Dad's usually a grouch. And give him his pills. Leave me alone with this poison. I'm as right as rain. Sure you are, old guy. I think we've said enough for today, so I'm going to leave you. See you soon. It's even more noticeable with this guy. All right, and let's go the next morning. What I got? My doctor coming in, I think. I need to cut. I'll be right back. Okay, so a few things have happened here. First of all, the oldest person in Canada came through and she did compliment me in the press. You can see statements in the press. And that got me 14.5%. So now we're up to 55 and we're now more popular than the Prime Minister. Okay, I got a meeting with my doctor here. I don't know if these meetings are important or not, but characters in this game do have a health rating. I want to stay in power as long as possible, which means staying alive for as long as possible. So I think it's good to meet your doctor every once in a while. And let's check out the newspaper. There is a national section of the newspaper and an international section. When I'm in opposition, I only care about the national section, the domestic section. But uh, once we get into power, we will care about the international section as well. Let's see. So yeah, he's around 50%. You'll get this message in the newspaper when the head of government's popularity is around 50. And here's what she said. Gilbert Junot you know, will leave a mark on the country's history. It's high time we became aware of that. Well, I thank you, Isabel. That helps a lot. And that's the end of the domestic part. The rest is the international pages, which we will skip. When we're in charge, we do care about the affairs of other countries, but when we're in opposition, we don't really. And so now I can just advance to the next event. Because I've done all the meetings I had scheduled. Might put in a cut here. All right, I think that should be the last cut I have to make. Unless you guys end up having to wait for a long time, then I might cut that out. All right, let's see. Private Secretary has some more advice for me. Just be 
because you are the opposition doesn't mean you have to shun influential circles. On the contrary, meet people, make promises. Get well-known people on our side ahead of the elections. Influence current ministers. Secret dealings are key to getting you on the path to leadership. Okay, I don't think I'm going to influence current ministers or make secret dealings, but... I did already meet with lots, a few people, of course, to help me boost my popularity and make sure the family's happy. All right, now, the government has introduced a bill about lar the tax on large fortunes. The wealth tax is distinctive in that it is applied to an individual's wealth and not his or her income. It's a form of wealth redistribution. Only a few countries in the world apply it at the moment. So this is actual tax on net worth, I guess. Current value, 2.1%. The government is proposing to lower that to 1.89%, which will cost Canada $3.8 million, million a year. That's not very much money. Uh, so I'm playing as Democratic Socialist, so yes, I'm going to vote against decreasing tax on the wealthy. But I'm not going to take any protest actions because I think it would be wise, you know, I don't think it's a good idea to protest tax cuts. Obviously, in general, tax cuts are popular and raising taxes is unpopular. So let's keep our powder dry. And we'll protest about something later that we'll get a better public response from. So I'm just going to vote against it, and that's it. And we can go to the next event. Alright, what does he have to say now? Right, okay, but I'm not going to bother doing a protest about this. I did vote against it, though. And here is our party whip, or deputy leader. Hard politic. You cannot be too honorable in politics. Honorable behavior has never helped movements in the past. Take the funding of violent groups and factions, for example. You have to admit that at some point or another, combat units come in useful to the party, to its cause, and ultimately to the people. So what she's talking about is that you can fund violent groups, and that way if there's like a riot or uprising in the cities, you can actually send in armed combat terrorists or paramilitaries or whatever you want to call them. And I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to just ignore her advice there. No way! As I said, I'm playing more like a Jeremy Corbyn or Bernie Sanders. I don't want to, you know, start arming people to shoot police. No. So let's keep going. The newspaper comes out every Monday, so when we're advancing, if it gets all the way to like Saturday and the newspaper's still sitting there, I like to stop it just uh, so we don't get, you know, all the way to the next copy of the newspaper. Okay, so first of all, let's read the newspaper. What does it say? What's happened in Canada? That's me. I did not do that, but that is an automatically created newspaper headline in the first few weeks of the game. The Socialist Party will criticize government spending on the military. 
I didn't actually initiate that. A green week against greenhouse gases. Alright, so environmentalists are complaining about greenhouse gases. And that's it for domestic news. Okay. He's going to introduce a change to the wine tax, but I've been recording for more than 30 minutes. I will make my cuts. It will be a little bit shorter than that. So I'm going to wrap up here. That's going to be the end of this first episode, my first ever YouTube video. Uh, I am a saint and a simmer. I really hope you enjoyed this, and I'm going to give you lots of useful tips to play this game. And in the future, I'll play all different scenarios as well. So please like the video. Subscribe to my page. Uh, I'm also going to start a Facebook page, which I'll let you know about more in the next episode or on my page. And yeah, please feel free to leave comments, ask me questions. I'll try to reply to all of them. And I look forward to making episode two. I'm going to try to make about four episodes a week. I hope that might be a little bit too ambitious. I am busy. But I'm going to try starting next week to make quite a few more episodes. I'll see you then. Bye for now.